Hey, what is up, everybody? Today we are going to be doing another vlog, tournament journal vlog for Brackenridge. And today it is raining, or it's raining right now. Anyways, not today. Mm. Hi, rain. You can might hear in the background just with glory. So, Brackenridge Golf Club STPGA tournament nine holes only. And so, first hole. Actually, we were really late that day because we went to Republic since Brackenridge doesn't have a range. And I ended up spending an hour and 20 minutes at the range. And we usually get there an hour and a half before tea time. So, this is not bad. <laughs> For 37, it's not that bad. So, I spent an hour and a half at the hour and 20 minutes at the range arguing with my dad. When I should have been putting for that 30 minutes of that hour. And, um, I didn't get a chance to put, so I had to rush as quick as I can. And we got the tee boxes that are a little behind, so I got to putt for three minutes. Three minutes, three minutes of putting. And then I got to the tee box. Usually we do, like, 30, 40 minutes of putting, because to get the speed down. So I'm saying in general, that's why I didn't make any putts, but... Probably why I didn't make any putts, but 30 seconds not that bad for not even like barely warming up at all. Having terrible swing and range doesn't make a difference. So, first hole, I hit driver into the left bunker of the green. I hit a little, pulled it a little left. Then I hit, I chunked a bunker shot out of there. Just luckily that it barely got over the lip and on the front. Um, and uh, I wasn't too happy with that shot because I didn't even get through it. It just chunked a hill too much sand way behind the ball. And it lucky it just barely got in the front edge of the game. So then I had like a 45 footer and then I putted that to like a foot and then I made the putt. So that was good part four. I mean, drive could have been better and around the had to have an easier shot in instead of a big soft bunker shot but i can't complain I still got par in the first hole par is always good in the first hole so second hole par three first hole is par four second hole par three i hit a eight iron um and there's two bunkers in front so i hit eight iron let's see how far was i Oh, okay, so I hit 8 iron to about 5, 11 feet past the hole, a little downhill breaker, and I, like, tapped it, because I knew it would, like, run like crazy. And you know what happened? It didn't run. I'm like, really? No run? But it still was only one foot, so I made the putt. Kind of disappointing on that one, because you were like, come on, you, like, could have hit a little harder. I don't know. I think I thought it was gonna break a little bit, but the it's not really downhill. The that way towards the lake, it wasn't more straight downhill. Instead, of, it was more turny than downhill. It's more side. So I got par in that hole, and number three, I got it was par five. So I hit seven iron layup because of the huge bunkers in front. That you don't want to go in, especially in the park, because then you have to hit a long club out and then hit a long club in. So I I laid up with a seven iron for the bunkers. Then I hit three wood way down there, crushed the three wood. Then I hit let's see, sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. My third shot sandwich to about ten feet, and I let's see. I made the putt. Yeah, I made the putt. So then I got, um, yeah, so I got birdie on that hole. So number four, it was par four, and I had to, did I have to? Yeah, I had to lay up to the uh, bunker. So I lay up, and, um, I hit a, like, a, um, wait, I'm sorry, but 
Number four. What did I do? Huh, I remember eating a granola bar number four. Um, number four. I don't remember number four, so skip that one. All right. Pretty sure I got part of that one. So I hit, so number five, I hit driver. No, I got bogey on number four because I remember I hit my lag put like a little right past the hole and I missed it. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not going to try to guess because assumptions mostly are wrong. So I'm not going to try that. So let's see. Number five, I don't remember that one either. I remember number six where I got a double bogey. Yeah, I remember that one. So number six, the reason I got the double bogey is because it's a compound mistake. So at first, first of all, I hit my driver left, which you don't want to be in the first place. So then I tried to do the stupidest idea. I mean, I didn't think it was stupid at that time. But I, now that I look back at it, it was really stupid. I tried to hit an open face, 30-yard gap wedge out of thick rough over a bunker. And up on a raised green. Really? A low shot that'll roll forever? I mean, even if we land it, like, 15 yards of the pin is going to roll forever. So I should have had, like, hit, a, like, a high lob or something. I don't know why I didn't. I mean, I just made that decision for some reason. And so... I literally chunked the ball five feet into the bunker that I had to hit over. And then I hit that bunker shot over the green because I hit ball first instead of sand. And then I chipped up on barely on the front edge and two putt for a six on a easy part four. So that made me two. No. Made me one over. Yeah. Yeah. So then we go to seven. I hit my driver. It rolled like 70 yards. No, more than that, like, rolled more like 80, 90 yards. It went all the way to the bunker. Even though the bunker's like 250. I, I mean, I should have thought about it because I know I hit my ball like 220 now. So if I really hit a good one and it hits like a rock or something, it'll roll forever. But still, I didn't think that, so it rolled in the bunker. Then I hit a gap wedge, no, pitching wedge out of the bunker onto the green about 10 feet past, and then I missed the play and got part. So that was a good comeback after the double anyways. I mean, the drive wasn't a good comeback anyway. Well, the drive was actually really good. So yeah. So, number eight on the par three, I hit a shot about 15 feet left, and then I missed the putt for a par, and party, I mean, and made a par. And then the last hole, I hit driver right down the middle, and then I hit six iron. Three quarter six iron, because that's what I hit last time when I played at Brack. But I wasn't hitting three three quarters very well that day, so I cut it into the right bunker. So I was hitting third shot out of that. And I hit that bunker shot about to six feet and missed the putt for a birdie. And I got par. And that's pretty much my whole round. I mean, I'm pretty sure the arguing on the range and the rushing hurried up caused a little quick tempo and putting and swing so they might have hit that little bad shots there so yeah that's pretty much my causes if you like this video leave a like and a comment below and doubt if you like this video leave a like and a comment below and subscribe to Matt Polygolf and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye